This is a terrible idea. I'm sick. I'm tired. I have not drank nearly enough water today. And nobody even knows this song. It's like a 10 year old song nobody's ever heard of. Why am I making this video today? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Mary by Alex G. This song starts with this little uh, little count off thing. He doesn't actually count. He just, he just plays these four little harmonic things to kind of kick the song off. Here's what I think he's doing. I think, I think he's playing a harmonic on the fifth fret. So that's where you just, a harmonic is where you don't actually push on the strings. You just very lightly touch the string. So I'm just using my pointer finger. I'm very lightly touching the strings right on the fifth fret. See how I'm actually covering up the fret right there. Then I'm just gonna hit the top few strings. Then I'm gonna hit the bottom few strings. So you get that little, like that. Then I. I'm not positive, but I think he moves his finger over so it's like kind of like on like the th three and a third fret. It's like I find the third fret and just go a little bit further. Again, we're doing harmonics, which like I said is where you just really lightly touch the string. Then I play that twice and you get this just kind of high pitched, chimey, quiet little sound. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Moving on to the actual song. Coolest part of the song right here. He's playing a G major seven chord and a C major seven chord. Only three notes per chord. Let's do it. Middle finger, 10th fret on the A string. Pointer finger, ninth fret on the D string. Now, you can use your ring finger. I personally, me, if we're, if we're being honest and I feel like we can be honest with each other, I like to use my pinky to play the 11th fret on the G string. I think I have food in my teeth. It's attractive. It's a good look when you have food in your teeth. I was eating kale, yeah. I ate healthy food, like kale. There were also green beans and tofu in it. It was what I call a healthy lunch. But the thing about kale is it gets in your teeth and then you look really not, it's not a good look having kale in your teeth. A G major seven chord, 10. 9, 11, I use my thumb to mute the E string. I use my pinky in addition to playing the 11th fret. My pinky is muting those bottom two strings like that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this chord twice. Then I'm going to switch to the C major seven chord, which is like this. Take that same chord, move one, two frets back, and then move up to the top string like that. So now I'm on eight on the E string seven on the A string, and my pinky has nine on the D string. This is a C major seven chord. Doing each one twice, just bing, bang, bong, bang. Then, and only then, I'm going to slide back up to that first chord, the G major seven chord. The way I do that is I just get ready to play the G major seven chord again, but I start a couple frets back further and I just slide up to it. So I'm going boom, 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 boom. Now, when I'm playing this chord right now, I'm doing it a little faster than I did it before. So I'm going like slow, 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 fast, fast. Then back to the C major seven, three strums, slow, fast, fast. Sorry, E string tuner, I hit you. That's our first uh, part of the song here. It's what I'm gonna call intro part one. We're going bing, bang, bong, bang, bing, bang, bong, bing, bang. How many times are we gonna do it? That's right, four times, quattro, Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Bing, bang, boom, boom, bing, bang, boom. There's one. I think I said that was two. I've lost count. Here's the fourth one. There we go. Then we go to the next part of the song. I don't know what to call this part of the song. This song is weird. Alex G, weird guy, writes weird songs. Uh, the singing starts right here, but I'm gonna call this intro 
part two because it, I don't think this is the verse. It's definitely not the chorus. This is like intro part two. We're gonna go like this. Let's do it. Open E string. Just like that. My computer just turned off. Let me just uh, get it going again. Okay, it's good. We're still, we're still, we're still recording. I had to check several times to make sure we were still recording. Open E string. Then we're gonna play E minor nine chord. What a beautiful chord. Don't you agree? Here's how you play the E minor nine chord. Middle finger, seventh fret on the A string. See that? Like, I have no life in my eyes. Do you see how deathly tired I am? Middle finger, seventh fret on the A string. Pointer finger, fifth fret on the D string. It's kind of a stretch. It's kind of a stretch, but I think you can handle it. Ring finger, seventh fret on the G string. Then pinky, your little baby little pinky is gonna play the seventh fret on the B string. So now we've got this. Open E, then seven, five, seven, seven. That high E string, it can be muted, it can be open, I don't even care. You do whatever you want. E minor nine chord. Check this out. Open E, E minor nine chord. Then we're gonna go like this. Abandon the E minor nine chord, play seventh fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, then play seventh fret on the D string. Now I'm going to ring finger, pointer finger, ring finger, then slide up to the ninth fret on the D string. Look at that. Hardest part here is probably your pick over here with your uh, right hand navigating those strings. Pinky bunk out. Then go back to seventh fret on the A string. Then middle finger plays eighth fret on the E string. And then from that eighth fret, you're gonna slide down to the third fret. Did you see how horribly sloppy that slide was? As I was sliding, my middle finger went off the string, then back onto the string. I am in no condition to be doing a YouTube video right now. That's what we just did. Next little, next. The second part of intro part two. Middle finger, third fret on the E string. Pointer finger, second fret on the A string. It's like a little first little top half of a G chord. You're gonna play. See that? I just played those top three strings. Binky, bow. Then move your, uh, let's see, get rid of your middle finger. Keep your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string and then bring your ring finger to the fourth fret of the D string, and you're gonna play the top three strings again, like this. So that's three, two, zero, zero, two, four. Play those same two little, arp what's it called when you play a uh, 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 pop quiz? Pop quiz, what do you, what is it called when you play a chord one note at a time? That's right, it's called an arpeggio. That's probably Italian or French for another word. I think it sounds like the French word for, for fish, but I don't think it is. I think it's something different. Oh man, what do you think the chances are that I don't just totally give up and not record this video today? Do the same two arpeggios fish again, but the second time you play that second chord a little bit earlier to hear that, it's like funky bow, funky bow, funky bow, funky bow. You anticipate it. You play it a little bit ahead of the beat. You go back to the C major seven chord. That's the first chord we learned in this song. Not C, it's a G major seven chord. Get your act together. You do that again. You do that again. That whole 
thing there is what I call intro part two. You are going to play intro part two two times. I think we've spent enough time on intro part two. We are now going to transition in what in, into what I call the next part of the song. This, I guess this is the verse, but it might be the chorus. It's unclear. The song follows an interesting, an interesting form, an interesting order of parts. Check this out. Here's the next part. Here's what I just did. This is a G bar chord. I'm gonna walk you through it. Real, my computer fell asleep again. We're good. Don't worry. Don't panic. It's a G bar chord. Pointer fingers pushing on every single string on the third fret. Ring finger plays the fifth fret on the A string. Pinky plays the fifth fret on the D string. Middle finger plays the fourth fret on the G string. I feel like maybe some of what I just said was accurate. I'm gonna play this chord twice. Then we're going to a D minor bar chord. Here's how you do that. You take this G bar chord, you just move it two frets over. So now we're on the fifth fret. Then you move it one string down like that. D minor bar chord, not playing the top string. 5th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the G string, 6th fret on the B string, and then if you like, your pointer finger can get that 5th fret down on the high E string. So check this out. That was the G. D minor, on the D minor, we're gonna strum down, up. So it's G, D minor. Ah, uh, see that? Then, we're going to switch to an a minor bar chord. Take this D minor bar chord, just go one string up. So now you're on the top strings like that. You see what I just did? Here's the D minor. Go up to here. Then get rid of your middle finger. What I like to do when I'm playing a minor bar chord up here is my middle finger smashes down onto my pointer finger so that I can get all the strings a little bit more comfortably. You're gonna play up, up on that A minor. Then we go to a C bar chord. Take your A minor bar chord, move one, two, three frets further up the neck. So now your pointer finger's on the eighth fret. Take your middle finger, put it on the ninth fret of the G string. Like that, like that. You see what I'm doing here? See that? We've done this shape before. It's the same shape as our G. We're just up on the eighth fret. On this chord, you're gonna strum up, up, down. A lot of chords we just did. We've got G, G, down, up, 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 down. Let me do that a couple times. You can play along with me, get used to the flow of this part of the song. several times but do you want to know how many times he actually plays that in a row in the actual song one time he plays it one time one then we're gonna go to an E minor here's here this I just want to sleep E minor bar chord, seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret on the D string, ninth fret on the G string, middle finger, eighth fret on the B string. That's an E minor bar chord. Watch this. What did I just do? I'll tell you. E minor bar chord, one, two, just like that. Now go, one string up here. So I just took this shape, moved it up like that, so now I'm on the top few strings. See that, like that? Then I'm right there. So that's seven, nine, nine. Oh, but then get rid of your middle finger. And if you'd like, you can have your middle finger smash down your pointer finger like that. So we've got seven, nine, nine, and then seven, seven, seven. Play this chord once, then take this same chord, move it back one fret so it's on the sixth fret, then back another fret to the fifth fret. Uh, that was fun, right? 
Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Mm, ba, uh, 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 uh. And then play me the sixth fret on the E string. And then go to the seventh fret on the E string. After you play that seventh fret, it's from this B minor chord for I didn't name any of these chords. What a disaster. What a utter complete failure of a disaster of a day and a, and a life. This is a B minor chord, in case you were interested. E minor, B minor, B flat minor, A minor. So I went six, seven, and then strum the whole B minor chord. What is even happening? Here's what we just did. That's what we just did. That's like the verse or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep charging ahead. Ninth fret on the A string with the pointer finger. Ring finger! plays the 11th fret on the D string. Pinky plays the 11th fret on the G string. That every time I do that, it makes me think of the 2001 Space Odyssey thing. My computer fell asleep again. We're good, we're good. Uh, and then middle finger plays the 10th fret on the B string. Do you see what I'm doing here? If you haven't noticed, we're doing a lot of these bar chord shapes in this song. We're actually, we actually are making some progress with this song. We are going to get through it. It is going to happen. This is called an F sharp minor chord. What are my feelings on the names of these chords? Well, I mean, I think they're fine. It's what they're called. So what, am I going to hate them? Am I going to love them? I don't love them. I don't, I don't love the names, but I don't hate them. They're fine. Do you need to know the names of these chords? Well, I mean, it's helpful, right? If you know the names of these chords, that's great. But do you need to know the names to play them? No. I just think you're treating me really unfairly today. I think that you know that I'm in a bad mood today and I don't know why you're like poking at me. You're like, trying to make me more upset. I really would appreciate it if you would just be supportive and help me get through this day. F sharp minor. Then we're going to a B minor chord. We've already played a B minor. Do you remember what it was? No? It was just pointer finger on the seventh fret of the E string, then ninth fret, ninth fret, and then your pointer finger smashes down on everything else. Your middle finger can help. I wasn't flipping you off. I was just showing you what to do with your middle finger. Your middle finger goes onto the, I, I smash it onto my pointer finger to help it push on all the strings. Oh, that was sloppy. You see that? I'm going boom, boom, boom. Then I do it again. Just with a little bit of a different rhythm. We just played a lot of stuff. We just played a lot of stuff. We're not going to review it yet. We're going to charge ahead. We just did F sharp, B minor, F sharp minor, B minor. Okay. A G bar chord. We did a G bar chord over here, but now we're doing it up here. Why? Because that's how Alex G does it. I don't know. Crazy kid. Alex G. Pointer finger. 10th fret of the A string. A ring finger is going to play the 12th fret on the D string. Your ring finger is going to smash down and also hit the 12th fret on the G string and also play the 12th fret on the B string. Your ring finger is playing three different strings. Now, I used to hate playing this chord. I was like bending my ring finger like this literally makes me want to throw up. It actually made me physically nauseous, but I kept with it. I got some flexibility, I trained the muscles in that finger, and now I can play this chord comfortably, and I love it like my own mother. G bar chord. Playing it twice. Then there's another chord. Let me check my notes. You made me drop it. Yeah, so we play the G. Then we go to a D major bar chord. Here's how we do that. 
or we could go down here, but that's not how Alex G does it. And we have to do everything how Alex G does it because he wrote the song. All right. So, uh, what, uh, so we've got this. This is the G. Then you're going to put your pointer finger on the 10th fret of the E string. Then you're going to put your ring finger on the 12th fret of the A string. Pinky on the 12th fret of the D string. Middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string. Make sure your pointer finger is, you can push down on all six strings if you want, or just make sure that the base of your pointer finger is touching those high couple strings to mute them, because we don't want to hear those open bottom strings. We, we really just want to hear these four lowest strings. All right, so we've got. So here's what I'm doing here. G, G, then on the D, I'm going down, up. Then we're going to the, uh, a minor bar chord. We've done that before. That's fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, pointer finger, and middle finger. Smash down the fifth fret of every string. Up, up. Then we go to the C bar chord. You go to the eighth fret. It's going to be eight, whatever that is, ten, ten, and then, uh, you know, nine right there. Watch this. Time to review. Time to review. We did the whole intro, the thing with that. Remember that? All right, we did all that. Then we got to the next part of the song. Or I guess the verse, I don't know. That was where we went like this. We do that just one time. Then we do this guy. We do that just one time. Then we go to the part we just played. No, 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 no. Then we go to the F sharp. This is on the ninth, ninth fret. We do that, I think just one time. Everything is just one time. Yeah, it's one time. Did you see me just sneak a quick look at my notes over there? Then we do the part we just played. Finally, we do this two times. Finally, there's a part of the song we played twice. One. Two. And there's another part. I'm gonna, I totally remember what it is. I remember what it is without looking at my notes. Yeah, see, I totally didn't look at my notes. We do this again, remember, do you remember this? We do that part again, but this time we do it twice. We've almost learned the entire song. No, that's not true. I have almost just spit at you a bunch of notes that make up most of the song. Everything we just played, we play another time. Then it gets to what I like to call the crazy part of the song. There's these four measures in the song where Alex G and his band just play nonsense. It's crazy. One guitarist goes like this. And then Alex G himself, at least when he plays live, he goes like this. Not even joking. This is literally what happens. The bass player goes like. doesn't throw his pick on the ground, but I mean, you can throw your pick on the ground if you want. Uh, on the recording, it sounds like there's one guitar that goes like this. And that is what, that is what I am choosing to show you. It's a weird part of the song. I, I legitimately think that there are four bars where he just went, let's just have this part of the song sound weird and wrong and noisy. Uh, which I, you know what, if we're being honest, I'm gonna approve, I'm gonna approve of, of this message, check it out. Here's the way we're gonna do it. B flat bar chord. Six, eight, eight, seven. You're gonna play that twice, and then we're gonna go to our E minor bar chord, which we've already done, which is seven on the A string, then nine, then nine, and then eight. So we're going boom, 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 
do that again. There's a clock up there. I'm looking at the time. Yeah, it's about 1 50. 153. What do we do after that? After the crazy part. Well, after the crazy part, we're going to play that whole main part of the song again. This is the first time I've used the phrase main part of the song. When I say main part of the song, here's what I mean. I'm about to play the whole thing for you. Watch this. the main part of the song. He plays that whole entire thing again. What do you think happens after that? If you can tell me what happens after that, then I will not show it to you. It's easy. He plays intro part one again. He goes... the whole intro he plays it two times that was intro part one that was intro part two what even what is this what are we doing here's how the song ends after he plays that whole intro twice, second time, he goes, no. Just ends on that chord right there. That's the whole thing. Guys, that's the whole thing. So, basically, I like playing the song on guitar. And I thought maybe you would like to play it too. Um, but I regret my decisions here today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. There are solos in this song. I didn't teach them to you. I'm not sure I taught you anything.